Gabby Petito was strangled to death. We hereby find the cause and manner of death to be the cause death by strangulation and manner is homicide. Coroner Dr. Brent Blue announced the findings of the autopsy today during a Zoom press conference. Can you tell us if any DNA samples were taken from Gabby's remains and if the body was intact? I can tell you the DNA samples were taken by law enforcement and all I can tell you about remains is that uh, the body was outside for three to four weeks. A document obtained by Inside Edition shows Gabby was killed by manual strangulation. The coroner would not reveal whether her killer used his hands or a ligature, or if there was an attempt to bury her at the remote campsite outside Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. He said Gabby was killed about three or four weeks before the body was found on September 19th. He would not say if her body was buried or whether there are any other marks on her body. As to social media rumors that she was pregnant, the coroner had this to say. She was not pregnant. Forensic pathologist Dr. Priya Banerjee reviewed the findings for Inside Edition. In this case, there's alleged intimate partner violence. And remember, this is that would be an up close and personal kind of death. Now that we know she was strangled, this police body cam video of Gabby takes on more significance as Gabby describes how Brian Laundry grabbed her jaw. Could that have actually been an attempt to choke her? The neck is a very protected area. And so the natural response is like this, you know, as I'm demonstrating, which is the chin to chest, possibly a, a bruise on the cheek could be consistent with that. In Northport, Florida, this was the poignant scene as the makeshift memorial to Gabby was dismantled. They include a large wooden cross with Gabby's name, carefully loaded on a pickup truck. All the items will be offered to Gabby's family. Meanwhile, the hunt for Brian Laundrie, Gabby's fugitive fiance, goes on.